You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Moonfall. Now before we get into this review, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. Moonfall is a 2022 disaster science fiction action film directed by the master of disaster films himself, Roland Emmerich. As the world stands on the brink of annihilation, seeing the moon knock out of orbit, inching closer and closer to our planet's surface, NASA executive Joe up with a man from her past and a conspiracy theorist for a seemingly impossible mission into space to save humanity. The film stars Halle Berry, Patrick Wilson, Don Bradley from Game of Thrones, and Donald Sutherland, as well as up-and-comer Charlie Plummer. And when I saw that they were doing these AMC investor screenings, as well as these Regal Unlimited screenings, a little over a week before release, and they were in IMAX, yeah, I went in, swooped my ticket up, and decided to see what this film was all about. Because, well, Roland Emmerich has a little bit of hit and a whole lot more of miss. Plus, those trailers ooh, were wobbly. I was skeptical, but I was ready to embrace the full IMAX experience. Overall, well, I think the film was kind of fun. And great, but far from the worst of Emmerich's films. And for the most part, I was entertained. So I guess mission accomplished. So let's go ahead and dive in to the positives first. Well, I have to say, I think my viewing experience was immensely enhanced thanks to the IMAX format. The film is huge, as most of Emmerich's films tend to be. The scale is bombastic, the set pieces are grand, the CGI is just off the charts. <laughs> the sound is just mind-numbing, all of it immerses you into this grand, over-the-top experience. And if you're going to watch a disaster film, that's how you got to do it. And it was a whole lot more fun being in that IMAX theater. I think the first two acts of this film actually were pretty solid. I had a really, really good time. And it reminded me a lot of the older Emmerich films that I did have a good time with. Whether other people liked them or not, who cares? I had fun with a lot of his big bombastic disaster movies, and this really harkened back to those. Have this idea of playing with gravity, with the world, and how it is changing as the moon gets out of whack with the orbit. And of course, he has tackled things like climate change previously in his disaster films, but there were just so many cool different ideas here. It moves really fast through those first two acts, at least. I really think they were tight, fun, disaster film at its most epic and enjoyable. As for our cast, Halle Berry is solid in the film. Certainly not her best performance, but I think she had some fun doing it. Patrick Wilson is always lovely. And John Bradley, I honestly have not seen him outside of Game of Thrones. And yeah, this is literally just... Samwell in space, but he is having a blast. And in turn, I was having fun with him. There's a few laughs thrown in here. The humor is sprinkled in just enough. And for the most part, I think that the visual concepts were really cool. There's just so much visual on display. It had a $140 million budget, which is astronomical. But there are a lot of effects in here that just look cool and concepts in here that look awesome. Well then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to Moonfall? Well, almost all of my negatives actually come in the third act, so we're not going to get into them too much because 
A, this is not a spoiler review. The film's not even out yet. However, I wish Roland Emmerich had just stuck with what he does best. Big, fun disaster. When that was the mission of this film, when that was the atmosphere and the presentation, the film was actually really fun. But I think he tries to push it an extra level, tries to get a little too smart, a little too eccentric, if you will. And that didn't work for me, honestly. The plot and the idea behind this natural disaster goes in a very strange direction in the third act. And while it leads to some really good visuals, actually, and some kind of fun, intense action, if you will, I wasn't really a fan of the direction the plot goes down. Also, for all of the good CGI that's in this film, there's just so much of it that inevitably some of it does not look the best. We get that orange tint at one point in this film, which is just horrible. Like, it's my least favorite thing is when the film is just saturated and orange like that. Yes, Greenland, I'm looking at you still. But specifically, some of the green screen uh, is where they really dropped the ball. <laughs> and in really strange places, too, where you're just like alarmingly, oh, that is, that is definitely a green screen right there. Also, it's nothing new. Uh, <laughs> It combines two tropes we have seen a million times at this point with really heady space sci-fi films and combines that with the classic Emmerich disaster films. And it provides for a been there, done that experience. You know how it's going to end. You know all of the tropes that are on their way as soon as you sit down in this theater. But in a way, I actually think that's a little bit of a positive You know what you're getting. And for the most part, Roland Emmerich delivers, though he definitely tries to get too smart for his own good. And that's where the film falters before it hits that finish line. But if you're looking for just a big, bombastic experience in the movie theater, if you just want to have mindless popcorn eating fun, then I actually think Moonfall is a pretty good time. Yes, it's dumb. No, it doesn't make any sort of sense. (laughs) If you saw the trailers, you already knew that. If you're looking for something like Ad Astra that really challenges you, or if you're looking for something with a heavy social commentary about how we treat our planet, it's not really for you. You'll leave the theater disappointed. You know what you're getting with Moonfall. Honestly, there doesn't really need to be a recommendation one way or another. If you think you'll have some fun in the theater with this, then you will. So that is my review for Moonfall. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. What did you think of Moonfall if you also attended one of these advanced early screenings. And if you didn't get a chance to check it out, let me know if you are excited to see it once it hits theaters worldwide. Leave all of your thoughts and comments in that comment section down below, or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.